It's all about the chaos and the order. That's part of the fun. You have to have fun in life. You can say it's, um, there is no God. You can say there is a God. It's all good. It's all good. But you don't have to kill each other because of differences of opinion. Okay? There's always chaos and order. There's always some bad actors trying to take over the world. But that are always unsuccessful in doing it. It's always short-term success. They even poison themselves sometimes, like the Roman Empire, with their lead water pipes, terminated themselves. There's lots of ways they can terminate themselves. The French resistance is a prime example of how the military-industrial complex and the intelligence community can be defeated. I mean, spies are evil people, let's face it. You know, I've been there, done that. They're evil people. They're, they spy on your life and they use all your intelligence uh, to uh, hurt you, to destroy you. I would say this to Mossad, British intelligence, and the American intelligence community, the G3. I would say if you are real people, especially the CIA, MK Ultra, and the FBI Fusion Center, which still are around, and uh, they represent, and Mossad, which represent the most of the spying done by agents and affiliate agencies and contractors throughout the world, that they're just pure evil. And I would say, be like Edward Snowden, you know, leave that agency, get out of there quick, and then start doing good things for the world, like Edward Snowden is, for example. You can turn your back on evil any time you want and become a quality person, a quality human being. Like me, for example, Tony Michael Lee, TML, and my art studio. I actually do live in an art studio here in Tijuana, Mexico. That is the pillow where I lay my head and sleep on the floor because I'm one with you. I'm one with the, all the good people on this earth. We're all at the mountaintop. We're all, we're all on the mountaintop. Just some people don't know they're on the mountaintop. So they try to push people off the mountaintop. Okay, that's happening right now in Israel. Israel's is trying to be the leader uh, of... Uh, it's got nothing to do with religion. It's got nothing to do with uh, uh, Islam or Judaism or Christianity. It's nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing. The leaders of the so-called New World Order, which they own the, the guns, right, and the bullets, so and the nuclear bombs, they're weak people. You know, whether it's Benjamin in Israel or Biden in the United States or Boris in Great Britain, these are really weak people led by the satanic church of Satan, also called Cabal, which is some books like Zola, you know, volumes of books written in mostly Yiddish. And they have nothing to do with the Bible. They're not the five books of Moses, the books of the patriarchs, like Ruth, for example, and Psalms and Proverbs written by King David after he committed adultery with one of his soldiers' wives and got her pregnant, and then when the soldier came back from the battlefield, he sent the soldier to the front lines where he would be killed for sure. And then Nathan came, the prophet, and told David um, the story, and said, David said, well, who's that man? I'll get him right away and have him executed. And he said, Nathan said, you're that man. David lost his kingdom. Real story, real person. David, the one who was 14 years old and slew Goliath in a fair fight so that the two, the two uh, militaries didn't have to clash and lose thousands of people. Instead, just two people fought. and He became king of Israel at 14 years old. All true stories. That was not, there was not, had nothing to do with... Um, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad wasn't even born then. There's nothing to do with uh, Islam. 
So don't, don't even worry about that. When Moses entered in the good land, Muhammad wasn't born until a thousand years later, so you don't even have to worry. There's no, there's no, uh, Israel's for everybody. It's for everybody. everybody. Everyone is welcome. So there, there is no war. The, the war between the Palestinians and Jewish people is all a fake world war promoted by the New World Order. It doesn't even exist. And the leaders of the Palestines, Palestinians and the leaders of what some Jewish people call Arabs and the leaders of uh, Israel are corrupt. <laughs> okay, but the people are not corrupt. Jewish people don't want war. Neither do Islamic people or Christian people. They don't want war. See this, but this—they try to pretend this is uh, oh, you're not for the new world order. Then you're uh, you're anti-Semitic. It's not Jewish. The the cabal is not Jewish. The Talmud is not Jewish. It's nothing to do with Judaism. Those are unanointed, unholy books. The Christian Bible which they call the Gospels and their books of the Patriarch. You know, the, the one that wrote most of the New Testament was Saul of Tarsus, Apostle Paul, formerly a Pharisee of the Pharisees. He wrote most of the their book, which they call the New Testament. Really, it's all the New Testament. There is, there is no Old Testament, by the way. That doesn't exist. There's... There's the five books of Moses. Moses wrote most of the Torah, which is the Bible. He wrote most of the Torah. The five books of Moses are very profound. And even Paul said, use the Old Testament is what the bad translation is. Use the, the five books of Moses for so you can understand how to live your Christian life. So it can even help uh, Christians as well. So there's no hatred towards Islam or to Christians. But most Jewish people, they're lost in darkness, <laughs> like most Christians and like most, Isl most Islamic people. You know, they don't, they don't get the Koran. They don't get the, the Torah. They don't get their Gospels. They don't get it. Does that make me one of the enlightened ones? Well, apparently it does, but that's not really my trip. Or otherwise, I wouldn't be here in a apartment art studio in Tijuana, sleeping on a stone floor, painting uh, pictures of serpents in the sky. So, no, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not um, I don't I'm not in the religion business. Okay, these paintings are not even for money. Therefore, sport for the good times. Let the good times roll. But this is the picture simplified. You don't have to know all the government agencies. It's they're gang stalkers. Okay, whether they're in uniform, uh, any kind of uniform, military, police, you know, some kind of clown costume, clown badge, okay, or they're undercover dressed they're like a homeless people. You know, they might be in front of a store, you know, begging for food and money and this type of thing, but they're, they're not homeless people. You can tell. When your spirit becomes enlivened, you can tell the difference between the losers and the winners of this world. Okay? The punks, the sissies, the wimps. There are, there are plenty of men and women who want to be Nazis. That's something else the gang stalkers are, the Nazis. The CIA, MKUltra, Mossad, MI6, MI7, they're 100% Nazis, okay? They just, Adolf Hitler is who they copied, just so you know, not the Bible. Okay, not the Bible. No, not, not even the cabal. Behind that, and Hitler was a Lucifer worshiper, and he did have human sacrifices. Murdering Jewish people and other people that he did not, like like gypsies there are other colors he did not like or other religions he did not like is a form of satan worship it's a it's a human sacrifice so the battle is real simple it's the chaos versus order it's righteousness versus evil it's god the almighty one versus lucifer the fallen angel who 
who masquerades as the God of light. 